hello students in this video we are going to see how a potentiometer can be used to compare the emf of two cells and how we can use the potentiometer to find the internal resistance of the two cells so first let us see how to compare the emf of two cells all these things are in our um, are there in our practical lab and we have to do the lab also uh, with the potentiometer and meter bridge so uh, just view it carefully see the figure there is no change in the primary portion of the figure primary portion meaning a potentiometer wire a potentiometer wire a to b then um there is a cell a meter rheostat key connected to b that circuit is called the primary portion of the circuit there will be no change in that that will remain always same we are changing the secondary portion of the circuit this part is the secondary portion so what do we do is here i took a two way key and uh, i connect a cell of emf e1 and cell of emf e2 to the two ends of the two way key and from the middle point of the two way key i connect to a resistance box and then to a galvanometer and then to jockey <coughs> so most probably we will be using the first cell as daniel cell second cell as lagrange cell Uh, we can give they can give any other cell also for the exam no problem uh, whatever they are giving when they give two cells connect one cell to the first point of the two way key the second cell is connected to the third point of the two way key and from the middle point you have to connect to the resistance box and then to galvanometer and then to jockey initially what you have to do is just connect this portion you can see a solid line here i am closing only this portion of the key so that cell of emf e1 is connected in the circuit cell of emf e2 is now open only emf e1 cell of emf e1 is connected in the circuit then slide the jockey from point a towards b across the along these wires at any one point you will see the galvanometer shows zero deflection that point is called balancing point okay here i have shown in my figure i have shown uh, in the second wire the galvanometer is showing zero deflection so that length i will be taking as l1 and then i will write uh, i am not taking like this Uh, since we studied uh, v proportional to l in the same way i write e proportional to l or e is equal to kl potential gradient that is what i taught in the last video so we will also go it accordingly so i i can write uh, e1 in the first thing e1 is equal to k into l1 that's the first thing now what you have to do is disconnect this cell and connect the cell of emf e2 in the circuit that means join these two terminals join these two terminals so cell of emf e2 is connected in the circuit again slide the jockey starting from the point a slide the jockey till the galvanometer shows zero deflection here i have shown the second position of the jockey as a j2 which is in the first wire it can be first wire second wire third wire or fourth wire whatever it is it doesn't matter we will take the length where galvanometer shows zero deflection so let that length be l2 so i will be writing e2 is equal to kl2 so i have two equations right now i am dividing these two equations dividing equation 1 and equation 2 k and k will be cancelled i will get e1 by e2 is equal to l1 by l2 so if i know the emf of e1 i can find the emf of e2 
Okay, that is how the potentiometer is used to compare the EMF of two cells. Okay. So, please draw the figure and write these things. The balancing point will not be obtained. Always, uh, balancing point will not be obtained if the uh, voltage of the e uh, cells, that means E1 and E2, is greater than the EMF of the driver cell. In, a, in the figure, this cell is called driver cell. These cells are the primary cells usually, usually. This is called driver cell. These cells are the primary cells or any other any primary cells or any other cells. Always the voltage across this cell, the EMF across this cell should be greater than these two EMFs. Only then we will get the balancing length. Otherwise, it will not balancing length will not be obtained. So, you can uh, copy these two points potentiometer is based on the null deflection method. So, the resistance of the wire becomes infinite thus potentiometer can be regarded as an ideal voltmeter. Using the potentiometer we can measure the EMF accurately and we can measure the potential difference also terminal potential difference also accurately. Okay. Now, we will see how how we have to connect, how we have to connect uh, the potentiometer to find the internal resistance of the cell. See, I just took the primary of the circuit just like that. I did not make any change. I just took the primary of the circuit from the uh, previous figure itself. Now, in the secondary portion, I am going to make the changes. So, let us see what is the changes that I am going to make. To find the internal resistance, here I connect the cell of EMF E. Here I connect the cell of EMF E. Then that is connected to the uh, resistance box galvanometer. and our jockey. This, this resistance box is used to uh, protect the galvanometer from high current. Now, I connect another uh, resistance box here. From here, I connect another resistance box RB and there is a key here and I connect like this. So, for the time being in practical we will be using two resistance boxes here, but for the time being uh, in order to avoid confusion I am just going to rub this resistance box. This is the resistance box which is used to protect the galvanometer from high current. For the time being I am just um, removing this to make your circuit simple. I just uh, connect it like this. So, there is a cell of EMF E1 and uh, there is a resistance box and a key is connected in parallel. So, let this key be named as K2. Uh, this key is K. So, that key, key is uh, marked as K2. Initially, what you have to do is, initially what you have to do is uh, keep this key, uh, key open. So, that no current flows through the resistance box. So, keep this key open. Then, take the jockey, uh, slide the jockey from one point to another till the galvanometer shows uh, zero deflection. So, no current is flowing from this cell to the galvanometer. Therefore, we will be getting uh, EMF as E only. So, let this EMF be E 1. So, I can write E 1 is equal to K into L 1, 
the first balancing length. Now, what you have to do is just put some resistance here, say for example 2 ohms, we can uh, put 2 ohms here and then close the key, so that the current is now flowing through this cell towards this resistance box. So, uh, cir uh, circuit is closed, this circuit is closed and current is flowing through an external resistance that is Rb and when current flows, I told the voltage we measure will be terminal potential difference, it will not be EMF anymore. In the open circuit, we are measuring the EMF, but in the closed circuit, we are measuring terminal potential difference. So, uh, the current is flowing out through the cell, then again we slide the jockey till we get the balancing length. Say for example, at this time, we are getting the balancing length in the first wire. So, those are the two points which actually I am marking. Let that length be L2. So, at uh, this point of time, I will write V is equal to K into L2 because I am taking terminal potential difference. So, I am dividing both E1 by V is equal to L1 by L2. Now, E1 is equal to I into R plus R, capital R plus small r. Small r is the internal resistance. Capital R is the resistance of this resistance box. Okay? Capital R is the resistance of this resistance box. Say for example, 2 ohms or 3 ohms. <coughs> so, E1 is I into capital R plus small r. And V can be written as I into capital R. That is equal to L1 by L2. So, I told you always when you find when you uh, deal with the EMF, you have to take the internal resistance and the external resistance. But when we are dealing with only terminal potential difference, take only external resistance. That is why E is I into R plus R, V is I into R. I can cancel this I and I. So, when I cancel I and I, I get a R plus R divided by capital R is equal to L1 by L2. R by R is 1. 1 plus small r by capital R is equal to L1 by L2. So, from here, small r by capital R is equal to L1 by L2 minus 1. Or small r by capital R is equal to L1 minus L2 divided by L2. So, from here, what is small r? L1 minus L2 divided by L2 into capital R. This is internal resistance. This is the expression for the internal resistance. So, this is how we can find the internal resistance of a cell. So, uh, we just did how to find the uh, compare the EMF of the cell and how to find the unknown resistance of the cell. So, these two practicals are there uh, in our practical section. So, please go through this, vi uh, this video carefully and uh, in the same way that I explained here, we will be doing in the lab also. So, with this, our chapter comes to an end. Hope you all have understood. Please uh, take down all the notes from the videos and make your books complete. Okay, thank you.